Welcome to the DWD video tutorial on how to create a valid CSV file. Beginning with the first quarter of 2019, quarterly employment and wage reports must be filed electronically through Uplink ESS. This may be done by uploading a wage file in a valid format, either ICASA or CSV. Through ESS, users can download and save previously filed wage reports in the CSV format. These reports can then be used as a template for future wage reporting. This tutorial will guide you through the process of creating and using a wage template file in the CSV format. A wage record template is available on in.gov slash DWD for employers that do not have a prior report or do not wish to use an existing report download. You can find instructions for file upload at in.gov slash DWD in the same location where you found the link to this tutorial. To create a template, begin by signing in to the Employer Self-Service Portal. Using the left-hand navigation bar, click Summary Information and then Wage Report History. The Wage Report History screen will appear and reports previously posted to the account will display. Click on the blue download icon located to the far right hand side of the most current wage report. A dialog box will display. Click open to view the details of the report and the wage report details will open in a separate window. The selected report will download and open in the CSV format. We suggest saving the report as a CSV file. It can then be opened in any spreadsheet program or in Notepad to create a template for future reporting. In this example, the wage report will be saved in the CSV file format by selecting File, Save As, and using the drop-down select Save As Type CSV, and then select Save. You may wish to change the file name before saving. When saving your file in the CSV format, informational text will appear regarding the CSV file type. The system will ask you if you want to keep using the CSV format. Always answer this question yes. This ensures your file is saved in the correct format for file upload. To use the file immediately, begin updating the data for the quarter to be reported. Each wage record or row will need to be updated accordingly. Be aware that when existing files are reopened, Excel will drop leading zeros on anything it thinks is a number. When keying data that begins with zero, type it with a single quote mark in the first position followed by the complete data, including the zeros. In our example, the FEIN will be entered as quote mark 01234567. Likewise, the SSN for the first employee will be entered as quote mark 00-1234567. Correct any FEINs or SSNs where leading zeros were dropped in this same way. If you have a large file, sort the wage record data by multiple levels. For example, sorting the data by row type A to Z and then by SSN smallest to largest should allow you to easily locate fields where leading zeros may have been dropped and need to be corrected. Begin your sort in cell A3 as this is the first wage record in your file. Cells with data beginning with a zero and that have been corrected will have a small green triangle in the upper left corner. This will allow the FEIN and SSN to upload in the correct nine digit format. Once you have ensured fields with leading zeros are correct, Continue updating the file. Add a new row for each employee not previously reported. Use a capital S for the row type. Be sure to update gross wages for each wage record for the new reporting period. The middle initial, SOC code, and full-time and part-time designations can also be updated at this time if missing or incomplete. Employment and wage record data impacts important economic statistics that are used in part to measure the overall economy. The accuracy of these economic indicators relies on proper employment reporting. It is extremely important to answer yes or no in columns O, P, and Q. Responses here will provide information that tells us if the worker received compensation during the pay period 
containing the twelfth day of the first month of the quarter, second month of the quarter, and the third month of the quarter. In this example, the template has been updated with the first quarter of 2019 wage record data. The wage records have been modified as shown. Save your new wage report in CSV file format and do not close the wage file yet. You can now sign in to ESS and upload your wage file. Close your wage file after it has been successfully submitted through ESS Uplink. If the file is subsequently closed and reopened, data containing leading zeros will need to be updated before uploading to ESS. You may need to contact your third-party administrator to ensure they have adopted the new CSV file format. If you have any questions about the data you are required to provide, please reference the Wage Reporting Guide. Phone representatives are also available by calling 1-800-891-6499, choose Option 2, and then Option 3. Thank you.